Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the very first moving vlog. I am so excited. I'm actually about to go to my new apartment and get the keys. My current apartment that I'm living in, that I'm currently in right now, and my new apartment, the leases overlap a little bit, which is really nice. So I'll be able to move things over slowly. I honestly haven't even started packing yet. What I want to do today is measure everything, see if my furniture will fit, see what things I need to sell and get rid of because my new apartment is a little bit smaller than my current apartment. So I'm really excited to see it all and get my keys today. I'm also slightly worried that my new apartment is already showing me some red flags. I've been emailing with them back and forth and they've kind of not been so great at communicating, which makes me a little nervous. We will see. I'm about to go over there soon. I'm gonna bring my measuring tape. <laughs> I have my little Aeros Tour tote bag. I love Taylor Swift. I wanna fill it up with a few things because I'm not moving over today, but like I said, I wanna measure everything. I'm gonna bring my measuring tape. I'm also gonna bring some painter's tape so I can tape everything out and see if it will fit. I also have my to-do list for today and then a pen just in case I need to write anything down. This is so random. I'm gonna bring a roll of toilet paper. Just better safe than sorry in case I have to pee, you know? And then I think I'm also gonna bring some water. I think that's everything that I need. I hope so. I'm gonna bring my camera. And my cashier's checking my purse. I think we're ready to go. Okay, are you guys ready? One, two, three. Ah, this is her. I need a lot more. It's very echoey in here, obviously, because there's no furniture, but I'm excited to show you guys around. I'll do a whole empty apartment tour, but this is just a little overlook of it. I'm a little worried that it's kind of dark in here. My current apartment that I live in right now is so bright. This one is a little dark, which stresses me out a bit, but it's okay because we'll make it work. All the new vlog angles for the apartment, I cannot wait. So I just filmed an empty apartment tour. Now we're gonna measure. We're gonna see what stuff in my apartment can fit and what will not. And that is why we brought the tape. Not the toilet paper, but the toilet paper is there. The tape and the measuring tape. I measured everything in my apartment a couple days ago and I have it in the note section of my phone. Let's do this. The thing that I'm the most anxious about is this wall right here where my TV stand is. I think my TV stand might be too big for this wall. I guess we'll find out. Regardless, I don't care. I'm keeping my TV stand because I love it so much. Oh no. Okay, so it fits, but it might be a little long. It's not too long. But it might, I don't know, we'll see. Ah, ah, ah. Editing that first. Let's tape everything off. These floors are really dusty and need to be mopped. <laughs> This is my TV stand. It kind of cuts close to the door, but I think that I should be fine. And also my current balcony that I have in my apartment, I don't ever use it because it's just so hot outside. And I love my TV stand so much. So I think it's worth it. I think it's going to be okay. Cuts it a little close, but we're good. Next up that we're going to measure is the couch. The floors are so gross. The bottom of my feet are black. This is my bedroom. I'm a little worried that my desk isn't gonna fit in here. Worst case scenario, I could kind of push all this stuff more towards the wall and it will fit. But I also don't want to move all the tape that I just taped down. <laughs> but that would be my dresser, my bed, my nightstands. The desk went out like all the way to here. So I could always find a smaller desk as well. And then this is my couch, my TV stand. I know that this apartment is smaller than the one that I currently live in, but it's stressing me out a little bit that it's smaller than I thought but it will all work itself out. There's not really anything else that I can do here now that I've measured everything out. I'm going to be slowly moving some things over, but my mom is coming tomorrow because she has an SUV and I just have like a little car to help me. I kind of am just like standing here, just like staring. Like I'm just like staring at everything. I can't believe this is my house, my home. Kind of odd, but I'll see you guys next time I do something exciting. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Today is Monday. I'm about to head over to my new apartment. My mom is incredible. She's gonna meet me there. I accidentally shipped a couple boxes to her house by accident, so she's gonna bring them, and then we're gonna run a couple errands together. She has an SUV, and I have a little sedan car, so it's not that big. It can't fit that much stuff, so she's gonna help me haul a couple stuff over. I actually got a comment on one of my TikToks, and someone was like, I always thought you had an SUV. I don't know if anyone else is like this. I know a lot of people feel more comfortable driving big cars, but I only ever had sedan my whole life <laughs> like little small cars and I probably driven something bigger than what I'm driving now like driven like an SUV less than 20 times in my life so I'm always terrified driving bigger cars than my car she's incredible that she's gonna come help me because I get scared driving big cars and I don't have one I'm gonna meet her at my new apartment so we can drop off some of the boxes that like I said I accidentally shipped to her house they showed up to her house and she was like what is this and I was like I am so sorry I must have messed up we're gonna do that and then go to Costco run a couple errands so let's go let's do it they're Bustle mailers? Yeah, they're very light. And then you just like, 
close when you get the door. Look at all these boxes. Hello. Hello. Boxes, boxes, boxes. <laughs> I've been watching Modern Family and yeah. this competitor is closets, closets, closets. <laughs> so it's reminded me of boxes, boxes. But this is my storage unit in my apartment that I'm like renting for the month. This is all like to-do list bubble mailer. So when I sell all my to-do lists, that's what goes in them. I think or that's what you ship them out I for. That's where my couch is going to go. Mm -hmm. And then in this area, mm -hmm. I can either put two of those bookshelves yeah. or a desk. Yeah. The desk is the practical option. Mm -hmm. The bookshelves are the cute option. Right. And my bookshelves are my favorite part of my apartment. And you should put your bookshelves there. But I'm Where's your table going to go? What table? Your kitchen, your round white kitchen. Oh, I'm going to sell it. I'm not gonna have room for it. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the main difference is this one doesn't have a dining room, or I knew the old one does. Right. I could also, I don't know if this is gonna be too crowded. I measured it, and one of the bookshelves could fit here, but I'm wondering if that's just too much, like right when you walk in. Mm -hmm. I measured that, that's too, it would be too narrow. And you couldn't really walk through there. I also have an idea for that, but I don't think it's practical. We're now running some errands at Costco. This way, is this how you do it? Yeah, so yeah. That's like, how that's, I was doing That's it. how I like it. Okay. I think that will be so much easier than lifting it inside that. Yeah, ideally. We're in Costco and we're looking for a trash can. This is our first option. My mom has one that's like motion sensor, but where even are those? I don't even see those that over here. So hard to find. Like where is the actual, like that's the display obviously. Oh, oh, so yeah. someone just set it there? But that's not, the I'm like, maybe someone bought all of them? Well, if not, that's gonna- be in a different spot or Amazon. I get everything on Amazon. I mean, ideally it'd be nice to get it here because we're here right now, but if not. I'm getting dishwasher pods. What are you getting? I'm we're getting just stocking up on everything. Yep. Uh, My mom got markers. markers and then We're just splitting it up and up. And then Whatever that's called. Laundry, laundry. pods. <laughs> Do you want them just in that corner? Yeah. Maybe we'll just shove them forward. What I've learned from my, my years of moving my bedroom is that you can put your legs are your most powerful. True. It's true. These are the heavy ones. Okay. Three. For your help. Okay, all right, then we just have, there's two more. Anything else you want to bring over today? I don't think so. Am I in it? Yeah, you're in it. Say oh, hi. I'm behind you. Say hi. Hi. We just dropped off some things in my little storage unit that I have in my apartment, but I wanted to do a little Costco haul. You're in the background, say hi. Oh, hi. You can be in the background. I just want to sit in your live room area. That's what it's called. I could not figure out what the thing's called. I got the ultra fresh and wash scent boosters. These are lavender, the Costco brand, because it was the cheapest. I'm gonna put them in my little laundry room. I also got some Q-tips. I went for a trash can, but they didn't have any trash cans. The one that we saw, they didn't have anything available. I also got razors. I should probably put this in the bathroom, but another day. I got some dishwasher pods. Oh, this is a box that I got that it's that got sent to your house. Yeah. I don't have any scissors to unbox it, so that'll be a later me problem. And then I got some naked mover wipes, and they changed the packaging. They're really, I feel like every year they change the they packaging. Change. You have to look for it. I think. That's smart. <laughs> but I like those. I like those. A yeah. weed brand. Okay. So now we're going to go run some errands. We're going to go try to get me a cable box, and then we're going to go to Home Depot and change out the light bulbs in here. Or get some lights to change out the light bulbs, and then some boxes. So I can pack up everything. Anything you want to say? Um, no, just it's hot outside. It's 110 outside. It's very hot. Like our first week of 110. It's a warm day. Yeah, my shirt. Good thing it's black because it is completely wet. It's soaked in my sweat, which is lovely. Lovely. We still need to get a trash can and all that stuff, but I probably will just order it on Amazon at this point. We tried. Yeah. Costco, they didn't have the trash can. Okay, I need to pee before we run our errands. We're measuring the trash can that I found online. Let's see. Where's the specs? 25 by 5? Wait, that's kind of short, isn't it? I feel like it's 16. That's tiny. Hold on, go back. I lost it. I think mean, that's so short, don't you? Yeah, but that's why there's so many of them. What's See, that's why it's so cheap. Mm -hmm. I can just get one that I can step on. It doesn't need to be one of those hand motion ones. That says 15. This says 13, 13, 13. 15 ounces. How many ounces is yours? I don't know. We've had it for a long time. They're expensive, though. Yeah, yeah. trash cans. That's why I wanted to go to Costco because I thought it would be cheaper mm -hmm. at Costco. You could try Costco online. Where are we off to now? Packing tape here too. We're now in Lowe's trying to get some boxes to help me pack. Do you want tape? You're very passionate about the tape. Let's get some tape. I don't know about passionate. 
She's passionate. I don't know what size to get. There's so many. Those ones look pretty small. I don't know if I want. I don't think any of them are tiny. Yeah, I don't want huge ones. Is that? They're a lot smaller. Oh, I think that's a good size, right? You think that's too small? How much are these? Where? I don't even see the price. There's no price on these. Oh, is this it? The price? Wait, they're three dollars per box. About right. Wait, why are they kind of expensive? I thought they'd be like a dollar. Everything's so much more expensive than I thought it would be. Well, that's tiny. Um, this one's called medium. Okay, how many of these should I get? Are you getting medium or large? The Lowe's trip ended up being a major flop. We didn't get anything. Now I'm trying to set up my Wi-Fi so my apartment has this sitting. So the Wi-Fi router is already installed. I just need to set it up. But I don't, I'm like, do I press this? Oh no, what did I just do? Did I just break it? I don't know. The router is already in here. I have it set up, but I don't really understand any of the instructions. Very confusing. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed if I'm being honest today. It's okay. Everything's fine. It will all work out. I really hope this works. My fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. So it didn't work. I don't know what to do. This is so stressful. I'm chatting with support, and they needed me to send them a photo, and I accidentally clicked the wrong photo, and I sent them a photo of a hot dog. I have to have an internet guy come tomorrow and help me because it will not set up on its own, even with the chat person. It is the next day. We're at my old apartment and we need to start packing. I haven't started packing at all. I thought we can start with these shelves. I'm so sad to pack these shelves because these are my favorite part of my entire apartment. I need to start packing things that I don't use on a daily basis and I don't use anything on the shelf on a daily basis. Let's start. <laughs> Shouldn't be so sad about moving. <laughs> it looks so weird having them empty. I think I need to dust them. You can see where things have been sitting on them. See right there where that book was. I was going to wrap everything, but I thought it would just be easier to take everything off than wrap it all at once. So I just kind of laid everything out right here. Now I'm going to wrap all this stuff. I have bubble wrap and then I also bought some little foam wrapper thingies just to make sure these don't break in. I added a little bit more to this box. I'm honestly really afraid it's gonna break, so I think I'm gonna move it myself. It has basically all my decor in it, and I wrapped everything in this stuff, and then I also bubble wrapped some things. I think I'm gonna have to order another box of these little foam package slip thingies. I'm gonna see how heavy this is. Okay, it's pretty heavy, pretty heavy, but all my decor is in here. All my decor for my shelves, most of my coffee table stuff, some stuff on here, some stuff in my bedroom, some stuff on here, some, everywhere. It's the decor box. I think I'm gonna close that and then put a fragile sticker on, on it and then I'm trying to figure out what I want to move next. It's hard because I move exactly a week from today so I'm trying to think what are the things that I don't use on a daily basis that I can start packing up and moving over. I hired movers but I want to move some stuff myself to save some money. The more stuff they have to move the more it costs. What? What? Oh. Right now I'm about to head over to my new apartment. I have an appointment set up in between 3 and 5 that the internet provider is going to send someone out and help me set up my internet. So I'm just going to be hanging out at my new apartment until then and I have a dolly that I left at that apartment so I'm gonna bring it back so next time I go over I can bring some stuff because I'm not strong enough to carry those bins myself all the way down to my car drive to my new place all the way out of my car up to my new place I'm just not that strong we're gonna get the dolly but we'll be hanging out there okay an update we're back at the apartment the internet guy just left he was here for over an hour I don't really know what the problem was I'm really glad that they scheduled an appointment to come out because I was like I can just figure this out on my own like I'm pretty tech savvy Ish. Turns out it was a much bigger issue. He had to call the people. I don't really know what he did. He was using all these words and just lying straight over my head, but it was a much bigger issue than I thought it was. But I finally have Wi-Fi! Woo! I honestly don't want to leave this place. Like, it's just fun being here. And so I'm like always sad every time I go back to my own apartment. Especially now that I've been packing up all my stuff, it just feels so bare already. And really all I packed up is some decor. I'm dramatic, it's fine.
I have great news. And when I say great news, I mean that in an entirely sarcastic way. Just got back to my apartment, my old apartment. The Wi-Fi is not working. <laughs> I think what they did is they turned off the Wi-Fi here to make the Wi-Fi at my new apartment work. But they told me that the Wi-Fi would work at both places when I initially set it all up. So I'm still going to be living here for a week. And I have work to do. I have a bunch of stuff to do. I have meetings. And I don't want to have to go over there with no furniture, nowhere to sit. Sit completely on the ground every time. To use the Wi-Fi, especially if I'm going to be here majority of the time. Now I'm regretting getting it set up. So I texted the guy because he gave me his business card and I texted him. He hasn't responded yet, but we'll see what he says. But I really, I'd rather have Wi-Fi here than there for the week that I'm here. I don't know what to do. I'm not a professional at this. What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Last night I listed some of the furniture that I won't be able to bring to my new apartment because it won't fit And one of them is this shelf. I'm gonna keep two of them. The girl was like, oh, I can come down and I was like, wait <laughs> I need to unscrew it from the wall, which I don't even know how I'm gonna do. Well, I know how I'm gonna do it I need to find the right tool for it, but she's gonna come in 15 minutes Will this work? Let's see. Oh, yes, it will. Hallelujah. It's kind of hard because the screwdriver is like getting in the way But I'm keeping the other two for my new apartment. And I'm just selling this one right here and then I'll put these little screws in a baggie for her. Oh, that's a long screw. One thing that I've learned about Facebook Marketplace is you list something in like two seconds, everybody is messaging you. I had like a hundred messages about this one shelf. I also listed my dining table and a mirror so far. And I need to list my desk. But I need to clear everything off my desk to take a photo of it. Sad to see this go. Okay, I have two more. <laughs> I told her I would bring this down for her. Okay, why will this not come out of the wall? Come on. This should not be this hard. That was a lot harder than I thought because there was a little plastic. I don't know what they're called. I'm not good at any of this stuff. Little plastic thingies. One of them stayed in the wall and the other one didn't. And that's why it was hard getting it out. It's like a giant hole. But I put the screws in here and then I just wiped it down. Oh, there's like a piece of styrofoam or something. That's probably from when I built it. <laughs> and then I think I'm just going to tape this on here. There's also a fly. Do you see it? I've tried to escort this fly out of my apartment so many times I open the door for it. The second I open the door, it flies away. I'm like, this is, you should go outside. Just dropped off that shelf. She was really nice. Hello. Progress on packing has not really happened, if we're being completely honest here. Last week, I did a bunch of work to get ahead so I could spend this week working a little bit, but mostly packing. But my hard drive, broke. My hard drive with all the work that I did last week broke. So I've been working all day yesterday, all day today, but I need to start packing because I move soon and really all I packed is the decor on my shelves. That's really it. And it's getting closer and closer to the day that I'm moving. I need to do some stuff. I do have a little haul of stuff that I bought from Amazon for my new apartment. So let me show you what I got. My apartment is also such a mess right now. I'll show it to you guys. Well, honestly, I say it's a mess, but like I've lived in much worse, but it just feels very chaotic. Both of these things are for the lighting in my apartment. My new apartment, I feel like is really dark compared to the one that I currently live in. And I obviously film YouTube videos, TikToks, all that stuff in my apartment. So I want it to be brighter. So I bought a couple things to help brighten it up. First thing I got are these little Hollywood style vanity lights. They're just lights that go around your mirror. And I was thinking that would be really nice for my bathroom. My bathroom is pretty dark. Oh, okay. I don't know if this is gonna be enough, but I could always return it if not. So they just, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be enough, but we'll try it. We'll see how it works. But I wanted to get something to brighten up that area. I also got light bulbs. These are more like cool toned white light bulbs rather than the warm light bulbs that my apartment currently has. I learned, however, my apartment doesn't just have regular light bulbs. You have to change out this entire thing and rewire it. And I'm honestly not sure if it's worth it, but I did buy these. I can always return them. I feel like it's a little extra to be doing this if I'm being honest, but at the same time, I film YouTube videos in my apartment. It needs to be bright. <laughs> Those are the two things that I got from my apartment so far, but we need to start packing. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys the funny story. I was telling you guys that my internet at my new apartment started working and my internet here stopped working. So I was on the phone with my internet provider for over two hours. They kept transferring me to different people. They would be like, oh, all we have to do is reactivate it. Let me transfer you to someone that can do that. And then like rinse, repeat. They just kept transferring me over and over and over. I swear at one point I was transferred to the same person twice. I think I was transferred to over 20 people. But when someone finally helped me, his this man, his name was Arthur. He helped me. I accidentally told him I loved him. I was like, oh my God, I love you. Cause I was so happy he fixed the internet after being on the phone for so long. Um, and then it was just silent. I said, I loved him by accident. And then it was just 
completely silent. I thought he hung up, but like the no, the the time was still going. So not, so yeah, I embarrassed myself in front of Arthur. Life hack: Don't tell your internet provider you love them by accident. I was just so excited. I think the next thing that I want to pack up is all the decor and stuff on my desk that I work at because I need to list the desk because I'm selling it on Facebook Marketplace. So I want to get rid of everything on it. So that's up next. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to pack up and I just feel overwhelmed. <laughs> I also listed this dining room table and chairs on Facebook Marketplace and someone bought it. They won't be able to pick it up until after I move, which will be nice because I can still use it during this time when I'm packing everything up. I was afraid I wouldn't have anywhere to eat. So that's nice. This is kind of the state of my apartment. Now that I'm thinking about about it. It's really not that messy. There's just stuff on the ground. Just slightly dramatic, but I've lived in much worse, much messier. I'm just calling back. Oh, yes, I was just um, confirming. We've got you scheduled for next Tuesday at 7 a.m. Perfect. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. I just confirmed my move. I always feel like I don't know how to talk when I'm on the phone with people. Like, all words just escape my head. I just keep walking laps around my apartment, not sure what to pack. Like, every time I walk into a room, I'm like, my kitchen, for example. I'm sure I'm going to be cooking a little bit, making some more food. I think I'm living here for today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, like five more days. I'm just not sure what to pack. I'm like, I can pack my clothes. Maybe I should pack my clothes. Maybe I should figure out what I'm going to wear for the next five days and then pack accordingly. But I also have laundry that I need to do. See, I just keep talking myself out of everything and I don't know if it's just me procrastinating, trying to put it off or be just genuinely not knowing what to pack. Okay, I've decided to compromise. So I have this drawer with all makeup and I was talking about in one of my videos that a lot of these products are probably expired by now and that I wanted to keep all of them though because I think I'll use them eventually. But one of you guys commented and you're like, Keegan, that's actually really gross. Like these expired products are not good for you, which valid. So I'm gonna go through this and get rid of the expired products. I have such a problem getting rid of stuff. I don't know why. Okay, I'm pretty proud of myself. This is what I'm left with in here. There was a ton of stuff that I had never used before, so I went through all of it and made sure all this stuff was untouched. And I'm going to add this to my little giveaway bin. I have a bin filled with makeup and skincare and stuff like that that I've never used before that I do random giveaways. Follow for a giveaway. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll do a giveaway with a lot of this stuff. There's Benefit, Rare Beauty, a lot of Rare Beauty. Oh my gosh, Laura Mercier. So I'm gonna add this all to my giveaway bin. <laughs> and can't figure out what I want to pack. I thought it'd be a good idea to just bring some stuff over. So this is the bin of all the decor that I packed yesterday. And then this is my basket that I filled with blankets, but I also put in here a ton of glass stuff and like sensitive stuff. Most of it I bubble wrap, some of it I don't. These are the lights that I hauled earlier. And then I have these little thingies that I love so much I just didn't know how to pack. I'm going to bring this over. I'll link this dolly down below for you guys. I love this so much more than the type that you have to tilt back because I'm not strong enough to tilt those back, but I'm strong enough to lift the one box. So I'm going to bring this over. It might be like a little hassle putting it in and out of my little car, but you win some, you lose some. I'm going to consider this a win regardless. So let's go over to my new apartment. <laughs> honest, I'm slightly annoyed with this apartment. I want your guys' opinion on this. So two things. Number one, I submitted a maintenance request. They emailed me that they completed the maintenance request. They did not. This light bulb right here, out. I don't know if the wiring's wrong or whatever it is, but they didn't replace it and they said they did. And then my fridge, the filter needed to be replaced because it blinks red every single time. 
it's still blinking red. But they emailed me that they completed the maintenance request. So I'm like, what's that about? So that's a little frustrating. And then on top of that, I feel like such a hero and I feel like I'm annoyed, but like I'm also paying a lot of money to live here if they're not gonna fix my stuff. My apartment building has multiple entrances. The closest elevator to my apartment, you can't get up it with a dolly like that because there's no wheelchair ramp. However, there is a wheelchair ramp that goes up to a stairwell. You can't access the elevator through the stairwell, which of course it's annoying for me, obviously. I have to go to the opposite side of the building where there is a wheelchair ramp up to an elevator, but whatever. What I'm more concerned about, what if somebody moves in here who actually needs the wheelchair ramp to go to the elevator and they can't use it because the wheelchair ramp goes up to a stairwell, not the elevator. Like it doesn't make any sense to me. I haven't even moved in here yet and there are slight things that are annoying me, but maybe I'm just being too picky, probably that. It's also so hot that I'm dripping sweat. <laughs> you can see it through my shirt, but I do need to email them about the light. I did just buy those lights, but I also don't want to install them until they fix this one just in case the wiring is messed up or something but they said they fixed it and they did not so I don't know what to do <laughs> I probably am being like such a Karen and being so annoying which valid I don't want to be annoying and like complain about this but I've also been talking to my therapist we've been working on my fear of being annoying and not getting what I want and what I should have because I'm too afraid to speak up because I'm afraid of being annoying so I think I might submit another maintenance request <laughs> my therapist would be proud <laughs> you guys are never gonna believe what just happened I swear you guys probably think I'm making this stuff up but I I swear in my life I'm not making this up. I was leaving my apartment, so I was locking my apartment door, and I hear my next door neighbor, the apartment directly next to me, I hear their door open, so I look over, and I see <gasps> whoever my next door neighbor is, I see them peek their head out a little bit, we make eye contact, and then they like run back into their apartment and lock the door. It happened so fast, they were like peeking their head, like it was obvious they were trying to like see what I look like, but I only saw maybe like a fourth of their head, like I only saw like this much, like they were just kind of like peeking out, and then they just, we made eye contact, me, I made eye contact with their like one one eye and they just like right back into their apartment it was so funny honestly that's something i would do that's something i have done in the past but i wanted to say hi they just ran back into their apartment so fast i thought someone was like leaving or something like that and i was like oh i'll meet my neighbor no no and then i accidentally walked past their apartment because i went the wrong way to the elevator so i walked past their apartment and then i'd walk past their apartment again to go the correct way to the elevator so they probably thought i was just like walking past their apartment through so they could see me through their people they probably didn't think that deeply into it but that is so funny. It was so quick. It was like a little like... <laughs> I can't believe it happened. But I think I'm gonna go get some food now because I'm pretty hungry. I will pick this vlog up tomorrow and we will do more packing. I'm gonna force myself into doing it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.